it's so exciting. It's it's almost in a time warp, isn't it? It's sort of, it stopped. There's boats sunk and there's boats in dilapidated states. And there's nothing modern about it. It's such a an oldie, well oldie place, you know. Everywhere you look, it's just a mess of little details. Everywhere, doesn't matter where you look. These are just drawing tiny incidental pieces because the pattern and shapes in there are lovely. They're really sort of, and it's quite in, dense and thick, and it creates a tremendous texture. And I can use this either in the back of a picture or the front of a picture. If I use it in the front, I'll enlarge it so it's great big, and I'll add to it, put texture, more texture on it than that's there actually. As an art critic, one can become very blasé at looking at art, going to hundreds of exhibitions a year. One sees so many pictures that have no impact at all. Um, so it's quite exciting when I come across a painter that really gets my heart beating. About 15 years ago, I went to the Royal Institute of Painters in Watercolours and suddenly fell in love with the work of George Large. He has this incredible eye for composition. I don't think I've ever seen a George Large that doesn't work, which is quite unique amongst artists. And I'm quite convinced that over the years, George will be looked upon as one of the great figure painters bridging the 20th and 21st centuries. So I just sort of get up in the morning, I'm quite happy. I know what's going to happen in my brain up there that sort of, I've either got a picture on the go, or I know there's one on its way and it's what you want to do it's you know it's personal to you and it's remarkable really that you can sort of do a painting that's very personal to me and sort of what's that and put it on the wall and somebody will actually want to buy it which is it's rather splendid really and it's uh, you know i wouldn't swap it at all and i sort of i expect i'll be still painting to when I, if i reach 100 i'll still be painting like renoir they had to strap his brushes onto his hands to carry on painting and it'd be that same with me i'm afraid